In some areas in Germany, you even have to start as soon as you find out that you're actually expectant. Of course, you have to know the, the length of months. You like to stay at home uh, during your parental leave. So you can, you can plan yourself, you know, if you want to stay for one year, like normal people take one year or two Most years. Most people stay. take one year, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to stay for one year, because the kinder, kinder, the, the, the daycare starts normally in, in September. Yes. That's, that's the, the intake. Yeah. So, uh, it also depends on when, when your child was born. If a child was born maybe in January, it's going to, it's going to be kind of Tricky. complicated, yeah. Because they, they only take the kids in uh, in September. So you have to, to try to plan yourself first and try to inform yourself where, how, where your child is, like, where we like your child to go to, 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 to the daycare. And you have to apply for it faster, you know. Yeah, normally in most areas, like in our area, they, they have open days for like kindergarten and daycares and kitas in February and March around that time that's when you can like visit different mm -hmm. kindergartens and different kitas see how they do stuff because of corona some of them are not doing that but you can do online with them you can like call them maybe um you know make an appointment for an online um get to know each other you know but if you if they are having the open days definitely go check them out visit them and you know just see the possibilities that you have the options whatever the different kindergartens are offering and the prices that's also like a factor of course to consider and then after you've done this so what so what you did is go to the municipality office you get a form with all the different kindergartens that they have or kitas if your child is of course the kita age which is below three years and then you get to uh you know list your three favorite places where you would like to, your kid to go to it's like the first choice the second choice and the third choice exactly and also they give you they give a, 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 a list of the kinder kinder targets for the kids and the addresses and the days when when they have the open days exactly yeah. yes they so, have so them. right now because of corona they don't have open days no like, some, some like still they, have they do it visually like you know you can you can go online watch a video about the place where you like about the kindergarten you know yeah. Just find out if whichever you choose or whichever you're interested in has an open day where you can physically go there. If not, then you can do one virtually. Yeah. yeah. So we chose the three best that we thought would be nice. Um, some of them we listed just because we had other moms at the playground talk nicely about them. And some we had visited and liked them. So and then they they take all the forms of all the parents of all the kids they hold a meeting with all the representatives of the different kindergartens and then they well decide which kids which child goes to which one they do consider the favorite ones that you have chosen sometimes you may not be chosen for the three that you thought you would want to go to also it depends on the, on the amount of uh, places you know because you know they, they consider more kids from their own kinder trip like from their own kinder kindergarten kinder kinder trip like from their own daycare because kindergarten is, is one step what you're trying to say because i don't, don't think that one is clear for everyone especially someone who has not yet started this journey there are some kindergartens that have the baby care the daycare for small kids and then from three years they have a kindergarten in from one small, from small kids from which year it depends i think most of them take from six months yeah six months yeah. six months to three years is the like kita and up from three years mostly three years and above up to up to six years it's kindergarten so let's say like one institution has a kita and a kindergarten so when the kindergarten children leave for school at six years they are going to pick, of course, their own kids from Kita and 
you know like upgrade them to the kindergarten before they pick other kids from outside and yeah. also uh, police is like you know if they, if they if that child has a sibling yeah. in the kindergarten so they, they want to consider that that child. that child exactly let's say i have jasmine uh, who is already in that institution and we want to uh, they will consider our child more because she, he already has a sibling in that place i think that's clear now so when you're applying and then they have all the spots taken from the kita kids then you probably are not going to get a kindergarten spot uh, but for, as for kita it's i think different but there are still limited places because there are less institution and more kids and also because of the of the uh, that's that the fact that you know they, they, they only take kids from september so yeah. any child born maybe that year before, before so has to wait all the way to september that's to why september. the place uh, is kind of tricky you know yeah but they have many many options you know if you don't get that kinder 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 yeah they will allocate you another one yeah and there, are, there are also different projects like the one we have over here this napa shop where we can take a kid for three days for oh some yeah hours. that one the kinder park yeah or you can look for target smoother yeah, actually ours are, do you know that ours are nannies yeah ours, ours are also nannies so the institution where we take our kid uh our we took jersey and now jabra is there now is um their nannies it's a nanny place organization institution they have three nannies and they take i think a maximum of eight children yeah. so are you you guys are going to watch the vlog after our little sit down here but we just wanted to come on here and give you just a little bit of information about you know how to go about the application like i said uh, in that application you choose the three your three favorite institutions that you'd like your kid to go to yeah. they also want to know if you're actually working you remember yeah. they, they they of course they want your name your address and um, the three places you would like your kid to go to if uh, both are working or if only one person is working because that is also a factor if i am here i am going to go back to work a hundred percent there's another man who has also applied for the same spot but is a stay-at-home mom they will consider me than the other mommy get it yeah so that is also a factor that they look into you know, this does not mean that your kid will not get a spot if you're not working it's just that they will consider someone who has the agency more than the other person if the spots are limited the yes. other very important factor mm -hmm. which, which which it's all about you and your, and your partner <laughs> what do you mean me yeah if, to, to get the kindergarten plans is that is the decision for them to decide for you but that fact of financing that oh, yeah. kind of, that, kind of that okay whatever, that lies on the that parents that lies on the parents absolutely you know? so it's all about you know the more hours you take the more hours you're going to give your child for daycare yeah the more you pay the more you're going to pay yeah. okay um, by the way do you know there are some states where you don't pay nothing i yeah. think berlin is um is like free of charge they don't but, charge anything but also in the correct game. us guys if you're wrong yeah. there are some places where they act the 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 state pays all the expenses also yeah they give you some kind of help they okay. every month. that's true yeah. that's true oh yeah there are other sources of um you know income or uh, benefits that you can have when you have a family if you guys want more to know more about that definitely uh, write us in the comment section we're going to do more research and come back here and talk to you about it and also share the benefits that we benefit from um, in our situation so yeah the finances part you just have, you just have to calculate you know how many hours you, are you going to be working yeah and how much money you want to pay in a month for mm -hmm. your child care whatever mm -hmm. so you have to check Just if, if it makes sense for you uh -huh, that was what yeah. i was going to say if it makes sense for you because you could be going back to work to work for the exact amount of money you're paying for 
for kita okay it's not that expensive that no, you're going maybe, to pay a whole maybe, salary maybe, maybe you pay the almost half of a salary for that depending on how much you work yes yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah it can be that it has to make sense because actually going back to work and giving a child for the care when he is only one year mm. is only because you're going back to work because you need that cash oh yeah that's true. Yeah. Okay. So if mm -hmm. if you read only that cash, you stay at home for three years. Wait, and, and wait, wait. That's not the only reason. Hey, sometimes you need that Apex loan. Yeah, the Apex you you don't have to go to work for hundred percent or fifty no. percent. You no. can go to work for twenty five percent. Do some night this or whatever they call them for two three days yeah. in a week. The main reason you go back to work is because you need the mula. Yeah. yeah. Apex loan, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Second job. Hey. What else? Obviously, you can also go out and meet your friends. Sweetheart, yeah, you have not been in my shoes or any other mom's shoes here, so please. No, I'm just talking generally. Just relax because I know better. Work is up for slow. Most people with kids in daycare pay. Um, the, the, okay, like I said, there are some places where people don't pay, but I think kindergarten is the one that's mostly relatively affordable. affordable yeah. But I think most kitas you'll have to pay, and mostly it's up on the onwards of 300 euros it's also a month. 400 is, sometimes, 500, 600 sometimes. It just depends on the area. It depends on the company, you know. It was there are different, different companies who offer this child, child care. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So if you go for a private one, you pay more. Definitely. If you go for, for one which is sponsored government, by the government, yeah. like where you take our child, you pay a little bit less. Uh, yeah. yeah, because there's the other one which would be able to take just be, you take you pay 500 and it was still big sponsor from Cadio. Yeah. You pay more yeah. 500 euros every month. I just got ready and the kids, because my child, or rather our son, is about to start in a creeper soon. Oh my god. Um, so, what were last minute, Mimi Apa, there's this list over here. This is a shopping list that I have to make for him for the beginning. Um, so now I'm going to buy some stuff. Mm, you know, like house shoes, you know, this overall for, you know, rain, rain overall, stuff like that. Gumboots, um, you know, bed beddings for them for, you know, because they nap at the daycare oh my god you guys this is actually emotional anyway um since i'm using public means to go there i better step out now because i don't want to get late but i will take you guys with me so why don't we go i'm just so thankful it's not raining today yeah the sun is at least the sun is shining and then it's Disappearing. Ah. Thank you. 
machen wir die andere Seite auch auf. So. Geh rein. Ja. 
good morning good morning so next day chronicles i'm sorry yesterday was so intense i was not able to vlog anymore but i have the stuff here Ooh. don't ask me what's that um yeah and i'm going to show you like literally what i got um some things do not belong to you know Jabari school um starting Jabari starting school or starting daycare well for example this right so i got this this is so cute though like like you can understand right now there's a summer sale this summer sale and i thought i can get this you know it's like in the size 116 currently she says one 104 110 so this she will still wear next year which is actually a great tip if you want if you can kind of tell the size your child is going to be next summer you can get your stuff already now the after sale summer because obviously they are taking out the old collection and they're going to bring a new collection next summer so yeah th so these three tops were going for like 4.99 and i thought god willing god willing i might travel somewhere where it's sunny maybe in a few months i don't know let's see but i got this for jersey and then this girl will still be swimming even if it's winter time so and this looked so so adorable like so adorable for 2.99 it's a it's a steal i feel and oh gosh you guys and this set as well yeah baby this set was going for 2.99 So some other stuff that we're going to need this uh, autumn and also winter are these stockings for the bro over here for this for our son they are not thermal but they are warm okay so this, these are going to be great for him for the season the, the next seasons that are coming and these are the size 86 to 92 yeah, he's going to need that for like until end of end of winter. I think these were wait. I think these were like six ninety nine at Chibo. I'm not so sure. This adorable. Uh, this one is for the like the neck uh, area. This is a like a little scarf for the neck with the matching bun the matching kakofia this looks so cute on him uh yeah it's the season to stay warm soon as in today it's sunny but it's been so cold already and then whenever i buy something for him i always want to buy something for her like you guys you guys anyway she also like all her straw frozen the stockings are smaller now so i got these three pair also for her at chibo for almost the same price too also something not much not really related <laughs> well somehow but not really coffee this is the coffee that i usually buy from chibo african blue African blues from East Africa. Yeah. I like it. It's strong but delicious. Oh, one more thing. This cute top here for Jazzy. It's like um an off shoulder with a strap. It's so lovely. This was for 199. I'm telling you guys, go shop now for for next summer. Uh, uh, 
you can never have enough socks these were going for one two three four four pairs for 199 another one two three four five six, seven seven pairs for 2.99 for jazzy as well i don't think i'm going to buy any more socks this year until next year oh these are i this is the only thing i found i bought for myself i yeah 1.99 for four pairs some more socks one two three four five six, seven pairs for 1.99 <clears throat> and then for the little one one two three four five five pairs of cute little socks for the boy for 199 these are from cna by the way all the socks and the tops are from the cna more socks i like this color over here and the green one too and the striped one so cute for 3.99 wow that one was the most expensive of them and now on to what brought us here in the first place and obviously they will need house shoes do you call them house shoes indoor shoes for jabby yeah, for, baby. for our baby yes so this one is in the size 21 yeah that's his current size or rather 20 uh 2021 so this one is 21 and it fits him so well the only problem i see here is he's always trying to open this but i guess when he's busy when he used he gets used to it he's going to stop so i found this uh they are quite as in for me it was important for it not to be like to be skid sure like not you know i don't know skid sure <laughs> guys please teach me english i beg that he can't slide jesus yes and this one was these shoes were going for 1999 well 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 let's hope her little foot his little foot is not going to grow out that fast because uh, if i have to buy house shoes every three months that's gonna be pricey then they also needed some gum boots oh, this gum boot from so adorable this is one of my favorite um designers you know local designers for kids shoes the elephant well it's made in italy <laughs> But still, they really have quality shoes. Surely, surely they do. Like, truth be told. And these were also going for $19.99. And their size is 21. Size 22 is too big for him. But this one is good. Because it, it leaves space so he can grow into it. Uh, I wouldn't buy 20 because it would be too small too soon. Right? So, that that's that then they also need a jacket this is not a summer jacket um this is not a summer jacket but he can wear this in this season when it's cold and then in uh in autumn as well mm. yeah it's in the size 92 and it was on offer from 25 to 20. i like the colors they look so nice another necessity Ta -da! this one you will never escape this you will not escape this anytime soon you know so this one was 18 euros and i got it in the size 86 i didn't I like 80 92 was way way too big way too big even this one is going to need to grow into it i don't know why i feel like these things are bigger than they ought to be or like than the size indicates but it is what it is i think the color is lovely 
um, then also this. So these ones you can wear in this in, the, in this and next season. Of course, when winter comes, it's going to need a uh, warmer stuff, you know, warmer overalls. So these ones are for rain, for mud, for muddy days, all that. This here. This was also a necessity. Other necessities are like, you know, a pair of obviously diapers, wipes, um, tissue papers, touch into each yeah? a change of clothes, sun protection hat, stuff like that. But those ones like I feel I can find them here in the house. Two. Yeah, guys, and that's that. That's that for the shopping. So, we wait for Monday. We are ready. Monday, we are ready. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You did amazing, baby. Oh. Let's go sleep now. Guys. Whew. My baby is big. My baby is grown. Oh my god. Hmm. Wow. I'm like I can remember. I can literally remember the day. I first came with the baby to pick Jazzy up from this place, from this daycare. You know, that's where Jazzy went, by the way. So <sighs> I can remember like he was newborn. He was a newborn, just a few days old. And I just wanted to, you know, go out for a drive, a walk. So I took Jabbar along to pick Jazzy up. And he was just so tiny and now he is the one who is going to daycare this is intense i think for every mom this day is usually very emotional because gosh where does the time go where it just feels like yesterday like even looking outside i can remember the day and the caregivers good thing is that now we've known them for so long we you know it feels familiar you know it feels familiar they are great you know even jazzy still misses them meaning they they are good so i don't have to worry about that and today we only did um for the first day we only did one hour so we come in then you know let the child like find out where what is you know touch all the toys play with whatever he wants to play with it's a lot for them at first because there's just so much uh play stuff and they want to touch this and he wants to touch that um, so you just let him be you know so i was just seated on the side and just you know we all let him be just find out things at some point you know i'm so used to like running after him when he's maybe i'm i'm scared that he might have hurt himself and so it was new you know to be told um 
you know sit down we got this it's ours now oh my god <laughs> that is a different feeling i don't know if i know many people are going to relate especially those who do not have like family around or stuff where you know if anything it's it's on you you know it's on you as in it's all it's all you so like someone telling me don't worry i'm watching him that is deep <laughs> yeah so that that's that day one is done so tomorrow we are going to do another hour and then he's going to have breakfast with them at nine okay so today we started at eight and ended at nine with uh you know like um a circle where they say their names and they sing and you know they welcome each other in the day that's how the morning play around looks like then tomorrow and then after that group that round circle thing then uh, they do breakfast they have breakfast so that's what they're having now uh, but it's our time to leave because we don't want to like overwhelm the baby with so much on um like sofas so tomorrow we are going to do the breakfast as well and they might send me to a different room so that's how we, that's going to go and he's tired he's tired now from playing so much and seeing so many toys and playing with a few babies over there <laughs> yeah the good thing is that the group is not big i like that about it uh, the group is going to like today was a total of four kids and uh, generally even like when like two babies leave that are going to kindergarten uh, new new ones are going to be a total of around six which is great six for and and they have two to three caregivers and it's a whole big room you know with, with a lot of space that's amazing that's ideal that's ideal you don't want to take your baby to a place where there are just so many kids that's a lot your kids might might just be forgotten i don't know but me i just like how they have they've constructed this Mama. place yes baby uh. yeah you did great baba mm. should we go now mm. yeah so for all you moms Mama. who are <laughs> yes baby mm. yeah you can sleep i know you're tired i love you ah. i love you <laughs> so for all you moms who are doing this with me strong yeah. okay stay strong i know oh, every kid is different but you got this okay you got this and i love you thank you so much guys for watching please if you haven't yet please subscribe to this channel like this video and i'll see you guys on my next one Thank you.